Hey, it's Kevin from KDW Mixing and Mastering. This week I wanted to do a video of a problem that I have in Cubase. I have contacted somebody via email that works at Steinberg or Yamaha, whatever you want to call them, and explained the situation and they've said to me that that's how it's meant to function. And I sort of argued the point and disagreed and I just thought I'd do a video and if anybody has any better ideas or any reasons why it's meant to work that way or what I'm doing wrong then please let me know because I would love to solve this. So first I'm going to show you how it functions in Pro Tools because this is where I came from and it's one thing that's bugged me since coming from Pro Tools to Cubase and I'm talking about automation. Okay, so generally in a mixing session, you'll be going along mixing, etc. Now I've got basically a blank thing here, so there's no audio here, but it doesn't need to be here for the purposes of you'll see what happens. But generally in a mixing thing, I'll be mixing along and I'll have everything nice and I'll just come along and go, okay, just this section here, the volume needs to be raised just a little bit or dropped a little bit. And I just want to do some automation just to bring that up with a fader, right? I don't think that's totally unreasonable so you'll see here I've got the automation here for the volume just sitting here ready to go now I'll show you the different modes so in Pro Tools you've got uh, obviously off read which is just playback touch latch and write so I like to use touch so I'll put it in touch mode and then you'll see when I press play all right it does nothing at the moment and as soon as I touch the fader it starts to write the automation. I bring it up, move it around, all right, it writes the automation as I follow it. And as soon as I let go, bang, it drops back down to the original volume that I had. Okay, which is what I want because that's what I think touch should work as. You know, I have my overall volume for the entire, for that track at a nice level and I just want to tweak some little sections of the song with touch automation. Okay, so that's how touch automation works in Pro Tools. It automatically goes back to the original volume as soon as you release touch. And if I was to move to another section here, I could start playback again and I could do touch. You know, I could go down this time. And as soon as I let go, it goes back to normal. Uh, still playing, it's not writing any automation. I tweak again, and there it is. As soon as I stop, all that automation is written with the original values in the spots where I was not touching the fader. So let's undo all of that, and then I will show you the latch mode. So if I put it in latch mode, Okay, it's not writing any automation at the moment, but as soon as I touch the fader, it starts to write the automation. Now the difference with this one is when I let go, it stays where it was, and it will stay that way for the entire time it's playing. As soon as I hit stop, it drops back to the original volume. So if I undo that, and then I go to write mode, Start again, write mode automatically starts writing. Okay, it doesn't return back to zero, but you'll see, you'll see, I'll just start that again. You'll see in write mode, as soon as I press play, sorry, it's going back to that. So as soon as I start play, you'll see that it's writing, but it's writing automation on the line that it's at. So I'm not touching the photo, I haven't moved it, but it is writing automation. So if I want to bring it down and let go, it'll write and it will continue to write. As soon as I stop it, it goes back to there. Now for some reason, Pro Tools automatically puts it back to latch, I guess because it's similar to latch mode. It's just that it's writing that automation there. So let's see what Cubase does. Okay, so here we are in Cubase again, just got a track, uh, no audio on there. And I've just opened up the automation for the volume. I've got the panel here. You can see here I've got it in touch. I've got none of these settings turned on. Everything's just set at default. I've done nothing with this at all. So if I put it into write mode and we'll get our 
get our fader here. I'll click play. Okay, so it's doing nothing. Now I touch, starts to write, move it around, da, 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 and then let go. And there it stays. So just before I did this video, I flicked through the manual and the manual clearly states that in touch mode, it will return to the original value. The only time it won't do that is if you have the Virgin Territories turned on, which, as you'll see here, I do not. It has a return time of 33 milliseconds, so it should only take 33 milliseconds to drop back down to the original value. And it does not do that. Okay. So let's undo that and let's change our mode to auto latch this time and we'll see what happens. So just writing some automation now and I let go and it stays up there for some reason this line here has jumped up i don't really understand that and when i click stop that should have dropped there back down to the original value this is by the manual i've read the manual and the latch mode stays up until you punch out which I would have thought when you stop should be dropping it down to there, which it doesn't do. And then the last mode is crossover. So let's see what that does. And again, that stays there. And then when I let go, it drops down. So. To be honest, I haven't really read too much about crossover, so I'm sure it's got a different function, but I don't see what it's doing there at all. So none of those drop back to the original value. So the way I fix it at the moment, which is uh, very annoying when you want to automate a lot of tracks, and you've got to do this for every track, and you've got to remember to do this for every track. You can't just come in and do a touch. And what I do is I just, before I do any automation, touch automation, I open up this panel and I put a marker, an automation point at the start and the end at the level that I am happy with. So in this case, we've got it at zero. Let's go back to touch mode and let's write some automation. So we're writing Okay, it's doing that, looking good. And if I let go, bang, drops down there instantly, back to the original value. And I write some more automation, automation, and oh, back to there again. So that to me is exactly how it should work. But the only way for me to get it to work is to put this point at the start and the finish shouldn't need to do that so I undo the lot I am in touch mode I've changed nothing else I've just removed those two dots and I go back and press play do my automation and let go and it stays up there I can't work out why Steinberg tell me this is how it's meant to function yet the manual tells me this is not how it's meant to function so I'm wondering if I'm missing something because I don't understand it. I, if I had these selected to end, then that would make sense because it would fill to the end. But I don't have that select. So there you go. If anybody has any ideas or advice or if... Uh, Steinberg happen to watch this video and uh, realize there's a bug please fix it tell me how to fix it
because it's uh, extremely annoying and it does not work as the manual states it should work and I'm not really sure why so uh, yeah I hope this video has been helpful and I'm curious to know whether anybody else has this same problem or if if anybody else's doesn't have this problem and theirs works fine um, I'm curious to know that too because if I'm the only person that has this problem then I need to work out why uh, there's nothing that I've set up deliberately that I think would break this but um, but if no one else suffers from this problem then um, clearly something is wrong with my system but if everybody has this same problem then um, then there's a bug in the software and uh, I hope Steinberg hurries up and fixes it so anyway, thank you for watching and uh, if you uh, like what I'm doing like the video subscribe to my channel and uh, hope to see you in a future video